Okay, I'm back to the hotel. I've got my coffee and I have my beignets from the original Cafe du Monde location. Um, we were not eating in. I went out, I got some um, gumbo and some oysters for lunch. And then I was just gonna walk around. I was gonna go to Jackson Square, Cafe du Monde, do all the things and then go back to my hotel. And um, absolute downpour, as you saw in the footage um like lightning thunder the streets were all flooded i was literally standing in flooding water on the street so i basically hid under an awning um on the side of one of the streets um for like 30 40 minutes until the rain subsided enough that i could walk to jackson square i saw that i went to cafe du monde i got them to go because of course it was covered up um i just blanked out and forgot it was saturday um and then realized halfway through the day that's probably why it's so insane um it's because it's saturday so i'm back to the hotel i'm gonna have my beignets and finish my little coffee and enjoy and then I'm probably gonna take a shower so I don't feel like a wet dog now. Um, and then I'm just gonna hang out the rest of the night. We have an early pickup, a 6 a.m. pickup tomorrow. So it's not too bad, but still early. Um, so I just wanna get a decent amount of sleep tonight. So we're gonna finish that off. But New Orleans was fun. Now it may be because of the weather. I've been wanting to come to New Orleans for forever. Um, and it's one of the cities I feel like so many people have been to and I've never been. And so I was super excited that I got this layover and I don't know, maybe it's the weather, but I rated her a solid six out of 10. Um, I am not sure about the hype. Maybe I just obviously didn't experience a whole lot. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's like the time that you're here. I don't know. I didn't feel the hype the way that people hype New Orleans. Um, I mean, the food was good. It was fine. Um, and like the streets were cool and the architecture is really nice. It reminds me, the architecture reminds me a lot of Charleston, South Carolina. But honestly, it felt, and maybe it's because it is touristy, but it felt that way. It felt very touristy and stuff like that. It honestly reminded me in a way of Hollywood, like close to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It reminded me of that area in Hollywood a lot. Um, not that they're the same, but just kind of the tourist vibes reminded me of Hollywood. So, I mean, I would definitely come back and experience more. I think it's definitely the weather held me back from, from doing a lot today, but still a good time. I enjoyed it. Would I 100% like pick this first choice everywhere on all my layovers? No, but I did enjoy it. I would come back for sure. If I had a long layover, I would definitely want to go out and enjoy it more if the weather was nicer. So that was that. I'm going to eat my beignets and have my coffee and enjoy, and I will see you guys shortly. So just to update you guys, you guys saw I was cooking this morning, made a little breakfast charcuterie board. So one of my friends came over, we had breakfast and coffee together. It was super, super fun. And it's one of the reasons I am, I am happy that I made the choice that I did to move closer to home where I have friends and family that I can hang out with on my off days and just enjoy. It was so fun and I love to host and have people over and now I have the space to do that, which is really incredible. So it's been a good morning. I have some orange juice and I just put some fruit, some leftover fruit from breakfast in it. Um, and I am getting ready. I'm about to get ready and go down to the pool because it's beautiful. The sun is shining. I'm gonna find a little shady but warm spot and read but i wanted to show you guys i got my book of the month for june so i wanted to unbox that with you guys i posted a little unboxing on my tiktok so the box is already open but i wanted to come on here and show you guys what i got for the month okay so before i do my little unboxing of my book of the month um i do have to tell you guys that i set my fire alarm off this morning there was no fire i was cooking bacon and um, the fire alarm just started going off. So I like panicked for a second. I had no idea what to do because I didn't want them to like, I don't know how that works. I didn't want them to send somebody to my apartment and there'd be no fire. So I ended up calling the complex and saying, hey, like I live here and my fire alarm is going off and I can't reach it over a ladder and the ceilings in here are really high. And I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and like, if I can't reach it to turn it off. And as soon as I got on the phone, it ended up turning off. And so I told her like, it turned off, we're all good. And she was like, it's okay. She's like, because the complex is newer, you know, if there's like dust particles, if you're moving around a lot or if you're cooking, like it can set it off. And I was like, well, <laughs> 
Oh, so she said if I have it again, just call maintenance. She called them and they would send maintenance to work on it. But um, anywho, so that was my first big adventure here in the apartment. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my book of the month. So I picked the book Honey by Isabel Banta. Um, I like it's pretty. It's shorter than the last couple, which I'm kind of glad because I have a couple that I need to read. I haven't. I'm not caught up on my book of the months in terms of reading them. Um, but I wanted to read the little blurb here on the inside because it sounded really, really good. Um, it says, an addictive coming of age story that follows the rise of pop star Amber Young as she navigates fame and self-discovery in the late 90s and early 2000s. So this sounded really good. And I also, of course, got the bookmark. They send you a bookmark um, every month. And this one says, hold that plot. So Super excited, I'm gonna stick my bookmark in my book and it's going to go on my bookshelf. So I think I'm about to get ready and head down to the pool. It is like 84 degrees and beautiful outside. The sun is shining, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna get ready, go to the pool. I'm gonna find a little spot that's kind of shady but warm to sit in and read some of my um, book that I'm currently reading, which was my book of the month from like two or three months ago. So that should just tell you how far behind I am, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna read some of that, try and get through it. It's one that I'm honestly having trouble reading quickly. It's, it's I'm kind of trying to chug along, but we'll see if I can get some of that read today. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my afternoon and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Spoiler alert, I ended up changing books and deciding to take another book to the pool, not the one that I've been reading. So I ended up taking The Guest by Emma Klein and just started this one. I read a chapter, but it's like the first almost 30, 40 pages. Um, and it was pretty good so far. It's really learning about the characters. So we'll see and I'll keep you guys updated on how that read is. Good morning, it is Thursday. I have a trip starting tomorrow on Friday. Um, so I went and looked at flight loads this morning. Um, I was really nervous because my flight for tomorrow only had two seats for the last like two days. But then this morning it suddenly had 10 and I'm hoping I'm not tripping out. So I did book that flight. I'm gonna keep an eye on it through the day. So if I have to like change plans, I have a couple plans that can get me there tomorrow. So um, there's that. But I am doing my meal prep for what I'm bringing food wise on this trip. So I'm gonna go through this and kind of detail how I meal prep. Um, I just wrote everything down like the days on top that I need to meal prep for and then kind of broke down what I needed for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks for those days. Um, so my trip is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I should be able to fly home Sunday afternoon, but the flight loads for Sunday don't look good. So I might get stuck in New York Sunday night. I don't know. Hopefully not, but just prepping. So I'm going to prep some extra food on Sunday for just in case that were to happen. Um, so to go through what I am packing, so my breakfast options, I'm going to make some frozen breakfast sandwiches and then with bacon, egg, and cheese. And then I'm going to do some overnight oats and I have some fruit. So those will be good filling and healthier breakfasts for the three days. Um, for lunch and dinner, I'm making a sheet pan meal for dinner with, ha with um, chicken. And I think I'm going to put peppers and broccoli. I got a couple different vegetables just to see what I wanted. Um, and I made some asparagus and salmon for dinner last night but I think I'm gonna do chicken broccoli and then I have like some sweet peppers that I'm gonna put on it and then I'm gonna take a couple of salads um the salads have onions peppers um, cucumber and uh, calamata olives olives wow I cannot talk this morning um calamata olives in them um, and then I'm gonna take just an extra sandwich and I'll show you guys I get dolmas from Trader Joe's they're a little can dolmas and they're so good and they're really filling it's um like the grape leaves and rice stuffing in them and they're really delicious and they're quick and easy meal and for something being pre-packaged it's not like that awful for you and it's filling so that's kind of breaking down what I'm going to do so I have my chicken sheet pans for dinner I have salads for lunch and then an extra sandwich and those dolmas if I need something else I'm gonna pack two of the breakfast sandwiches and then um, uh, one of the overnight oats with some fruit um, for my overnight oats I think I'm gonna do the oats I have almond milk and I think I'm gonna put like cinnamon I have peanut butter and I haven't I have chia seeds I'm gonna put in there for extra um, nutrients but I don't know 100%. I'll kind of figure that out as I prep through the day, but I'm gonna obviously put those in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna freeze the breakfast sandwiches so it acts somewhat as like an ice pack to the other food and then I can eat them as the time goes by. So that's kind of the plan. I have some balsamic dressing for my salads, very basic. And then again, I'm doing egg, cheese, and bacon on my breakfast sandwiches. So I will kind of show you guys through the day as I meal prep what that looks like and then what it looks like as I pack it tomorrow. Um, this is my first commuter meal prep. And so we're gonna see, this is just like a trial run, this easy meal, so we're gonna see how it goes. So I can kind of plan for the future if something were to work or not. So I wrote it all out, I detailed it so I can put it in my kitchen and just like mark things off as I prep them. 
Um, so yeah, I don't have any big plans for today. I was gonna go out and go to Home Goods and Target, uh, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get out today. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I have stuff to do here, not that much. I got a lot of my cleaning done yesterday, so I'm just gonna like pick up a few things. I'm still working in my closet um, of like getting clothes. I think I got pretty much everything now washed that I brought, so I just have to put it up and organize my closet. So I worked on that a little yesterday, and I'm gonna probably work on that some more today. Um, so that's pretty much the plan. I have a bunch of cardboard boxes I still have to break down. So just little things, but meal prep is definitely number one on the list today. So. So just took my shower. I am packing my bag because I leave super, super early in the morning for my trip and I am packing up. I always take a certain number of things with me. So I have an extra uniform. I pack two shirts, a pair of shorts and a workout outfit. My layovers aren't that long. I don't plan on going out anywhere, but I always pack clothes in case because you just literally never know. Um, I have a swimsuit always in my bag. I have like other things up here, a hat. I have a pair of shoes, a little reusable tote bag that I take with me. Um, my uniform is hanging up right there. So the wrinkles are knocked out by the morning. And then, uh, like I said, I have an extra uniform in here. I'll pack like my toiletries and like my book and stuff in the morning but everything is packed up I'm going to finish cleaning up my kitchen and get ready for bed hello if this is going to be me wrapping up this most recent vlog um the last clips you saw were me commuting into base and i commuted home from my trip yesterday uh it was definitely crazy commuting to base wasn't bad but i had to leave super super early in the morning um for a really late sign in so i had to kind of sit in the airport all day which is like not the best but i made the trip which is all that matters it's getting to work um and then yesterday was chaos trying to get home i don't know how i managed to do it but i managed to get on two different flights and got home so good times um thank you guys so much for watching um make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to keep up with all the fun travel and lifestyle content coming your way once again thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful rest of your week whenever you're watching and i'll see you guys next time